off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay This is literally how she starts her day Every day On this You were bothered yesterday too, weren't you? Because I brought the books down that we were donating donating to our yeah, friend Gracie. Put them right here. I didn't put them right here. I lined them up right here. And she was like, Well, what? How am I supposed to get on this? I'm like, dude, it's nine in the morning. You can eat breakfast, you can do your chores. But she's on here right in the beginning of the day. I have to for show sure. You. I shoot <laughs> over there in Chelsea. I have to show you guys on Patrick. I don't even understand battery was dead um I should have gone walking this morning well dad was well Jason was um what do you call it on a hike he had to take Abby to work at like 7 30 this morning <laughs> I don't know why she got such an early shift but he went for a hike as soon as he dropped her off um and I was awake wide awake until four in the morning like wide awake I was, it was insane. I would just lay there and lay there and I took melatonin and I laid there and about every 30 minutes when I wasn't asleep still, I would just turn on my book. I have a book playing. Well, it's not playing now, but I turn on a book. I'm like, okay, maybe the book will bore me and I will fall asleep and I would listen to it for 20 minutes and I wouldn't fall asleep. So I turned the book off and I lay there and I lay there. Four o'clock was the last time I looked at the camera, at the phone, like time. And I was just like, oh, I'm so tired. So when I woke up at eight, thinking, oh, I'll, you know, that's when I wanted to get up and go for a walk while he was hiking. Nope, not gonna happen. I was like, I am going back to sleep. I slept till nine. Still, I should have slept longer, but I needed to get up and respond to comments from you guys. But this girl wants to go and do something because all of her friends are gone on vacations or at their second homes or whatnot and she's very bored um jason and i have a little exciting thing to do today but i don't know if we're gonna chat about it with you guys quite yet everyone knows no they don't know they don't know this at all we've never and no they don't know and yes i'm teasing you guys i'm egging you on to keep watching <laughs> in case no, they won't find out, but we do, I think, need to go to Costco. You need to bring me your dirty laundry. I need to put in, I need to, hang on one sec. Okay, had to be a quick parent, really quick. Ashley, go get your laundry so I can do it real quick. Um, while we wait for Jason to shower and get ready to go, um, you can check out his hike. Oh, I will put in whatever footage of his hike he did today. Sometimes he just gets a little bit of footage and sometimes he gets a lot. So we'll find out together because I don't know. Um, but he had a nice hike today. Um, I love like phones and like GPS and tracking because I could not only find out where his car was, but I could also find out like where he was on the trail. I didn't even know what trail he was going to be, but I quickly like zoomed out and I was like, oh, I know exactly what he did. Mailbox peak. Um, and yes, there is a mailbox at the peak, which is why it's called that. I'm just out here checking on my flowers. They're so pretty. And uh, making sure they're watered because it's gonna be another hot day today. Making sure they're okay. They're looking better. So check out his little hike and then we'll go run errands together. All right, so after a brief little relief stop. Um, we're going to start, we've come up a ways, but from the parking lot. We're going to start here on the mailbox peak trail. This is the old start to it. I have a beat up little trailhead. The real one's down there. The new one's down there. This one is uh, the old one. It's a little steeper, a little more difficult but uh, in fact it says the old mailbox peak trail is very steep wet unmaintained difficult and challenging trail sounds awesome let's go this is why this trail is so beautiful
All right, been going for, um, let's see, 88 minutes, 26, yeah, 26 seconds. Anyways, <laughs> been going for a while, getting to the upper section of the mountain. Still have a ways to go, but hey, how's it going? I got a later start because I took Abby to work, but that was cool. Glad I got to spend time with her. But let me see if I can show you what's up here. Kind of see through the trees. You can't see, but over the way is Rainier, but it looks like it's in clouds. All right, let's keep going. in two hours five minutes not my best time but not bad um so now we gotta go back down it's really steep it takes a long time to go down it works the legs hard but we'll go back to town see what the family's doing oh it's beautiful that it's a snake that's wild i don't really see snakes very much i don't like snakes all right, made it back. Um, it was about 4,000 feet in, oh, let me see here. Three hours and 21 minutes up and down. So it took like two hours and five minutes to go up. And then an hour and 20 minutes to come down. Um, about six point something miles, 4,000 or so vertical feet. Um, so it's like three miles up kind of thing, a little over three type of deal. Anyways, that is Mailbox Peak, the old trail. It's a good one. It is a good one. Um, so now go back, clean up, see what the rest of the day brings. Okay, we're at Costco. I'm waiting for Jake to park his car. Someone just steal his place? I think someone just stole his place. We even took the cart from someone so that she could park, and then someone stole his spot. So I'm just standing here waiting for him. For him. But do you know what feels really weird? Even though it's been, only been like a month since we felt sunshine and heat, <laughs> it feels so weird to like be hot outside. It's been nice when it's not raining. But even like Ashley yesterday, she's like, Mom, I don't believe that it's going to be warm enough on Saturday. She has a pool party with her cheer squad. And uh, she's like, I don't think it's going to be warm enough. And now I think today is going to help her. Okay, it'll be warm enough. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, we'll show you what we got. Bananas, blueberries, because this girl is with us. Can I just into the Panera mac and cheese, which is good to be fair. Um, some apples. Then we got an SG drive. Um, you'll find out about that later. Just need that for footage. Um, and then I got some sunscreen because we're gonna start going to the pool and the beach now that it's warm enough and all we have is mineral sunscreen left, right? Um, so bananas, then we got chips and Cheetos. Um, I'd like to say that would last until we go to the beach, but it probably won't. Bagels, peppers, eggs, the muscle milk, because it's on rebate and there's how many points on fetch? 1,500. 1,500 points on fetch and we already were gonna get like the fair life one anyway so this one was on rebate and cheaper then we got the chicken strips because they're on rebate 
milk and toilet paper and then watermelon is for your pool party tomorrow. Pool party. Pool, uh, it came out funny. <laughs> oh, it's weird to have kids. There are kids everywhere here because everyone's out of school and their parents have to bring them. We didn't actually have to bring you. Just know it's a privilege to come to Costco. With mom and dad. Mm-hmm. But are you getting a churro? Yeah. Because she was like, if I don't go with you, will you get the churro? And I was like, no. Yeah. So she's came. She sucked, suffered it out. Pretty sure she didn't suffer too hard. Woohoo! That was for the muscle milk and, and the Cheetos. Cheetos. That's pretty good. Okay, we got home from Costco a little while ago, and I the other day I bought grapes at the grocery store. They were $1.49 a pound versus Costco's is three a pound. Way different. So I'll show you how many we bought. This one is going into the fridge. Um, and then I also did my um, blueberries in some vinegar water. Now I have them laying out to dry. We have a watermelon to cut up tomorrow morning for Ashley's pool party. Here in the fridge, I have all the grapes for us to just eat like normal. But then I have a few more. I need to like seal that up. But a few more to go in here. But Jason loves frozen grapes. So we have a whole bunch more frozen in here. Also, my family is catching on to <laughs> the Ninja Creamies. There's Kaylee's. She actually makes hers in the morning. She does like this whole fruit concoction and makes like an acai bowl in the morning, which is perfect. But I've got a whole bunch lined up here. And I finally made Jason his Bacardi pie for um, Father's Day. And that's one little piece left. So now I don't know what else to do. <laughs> actually, we do have something kind of important to go and do, Jason and I just here at home. Um, Kaylee went to the lake with Jacob. Abby's still at work and she's gonna have a very long day. I felt bad she was working so early this morning into the afternoon. Um, Ashley and Chelsea are upstairs hanging out. I just really wish she had more friends to hang out with <laughs> this summer. I might actually need to find some camps for her to do uh, to just occupy her time. Some more cheer camps. Um, they're just <laughs> expensive. So I gotta go look at my budget and see what we can handle because she just isn't doing anything. And all of her friends are either at their second houses or on vacation or they're all in like major sports all summer long. So gotta find something for her to do. You know what? Sometimes being an adult is really tiring. It is almost sunset and we're gonna go for a drive. <laughs> I'm so tired. My collarbone hurts and I don't know why. Oh, sorry, love. <laughs> the breath hurt. Anyway, um, side note, we are going to watch the sunset um, up at the golf course um, just to kind of get out of the house. We've had, it's just hard to make adult decisions. Not even like parent, I mean, they are kind of parental decisions too. It's like you have to think about the now, the near future, the far future, the very, very far future. You have to make decisions you mean they're just talking about our life right now yeah just like the decisions we had to like think through today they involve like right now they involve a year, a year from now two years from now five years from now trying multiple to trying to maximize the best for the kids yeah and the best for our finances and uh, we spent like all afternoon doing that and just this conversation it's just hard to like manage it all and I every time we like okay I think we're done talking about this subject or doing this um, I'd be like I'm just gonna go lay down in my room or watch TV or just chill because I don't have anything else to do should we go to the high school so we don't miss it you can't get the view from the high school no the other high school with that teenagers hang out I don't know where that is sure if you want to we're trying to catch the sunset I want the to get there See, it takes 15 minutes to get there. That'll put to us to the other at, one. Oh, okay, and it's at nine. Yeah, so that's like 25, 35 plus minutes to get the sunset. I think that's fine. Okay, so we'll go golf course. Anyway, um, but I was trying so hard to not fall asleep. Every time I laid down to just listen to a book, which I am reading a very interesting book. I think it's called The Quiet on a Quiet Street. I've gotten into Creepy Book Club on TikTok. <laughs> it's very good. Um, so I'm 85% done with this book and I was just listening to it and playing game on my phone and playing solitaire on my phone all afternoon until I would 
start to get like sleepy and then usually he would pound and bound bound would be a good he would bound into the room okay we got to make this decision and then okay i'm awake i'm awake and then i'd have to come back downstairs and we'd have to look at this spreadsheet and this decision and this you know account online anyway just it's just a lot and i'm tired but i'm trying so hard not to go to bed so he's like let's just go for a sunset drive and be awake for a bit and the kids are at home they are watching the fallen or the fallout is that what it's called I have no idea. um it is rated r but it's because of the content it's about school pew pews um i can't say that word or i don't want to get this video flagged but my only um prerequisite to watching the movie was that it had to be done with an adult so it was either for, me for Chelsea for Chelsea to want want to watch it she's the one who wanted to watch it and so she had to watch it with me Jason or Kaylee um, and I trust Kaylee with watching it with her and so actually Jacob is watching it as well it's a sensitive subject but it's our reality as well and there I guess this movie does a really good job at like just encompassing the emotions and the trauma and the experience of having to like deal with school sh or having heard about it and it's just, just it. our, yeah it's just our reality these days and that's sad i know but you said it and you're saying you weren't gonna try to say it okay whatever i don't know if that matters maybe you just bleep it oh okay so anyway so they're doing that ashley is having dinner and just wants to kind of chill she's making bracelet after bracelet after bracelet i'm um, just kind of doing her thing um so we're just gonna take a breather and we'll take you along for hopefully a really nice sunset. starting to get used Think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left. It was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer. Our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you so long. I met you in the You in the summer when you left it was 